Have you installed one rain barrel and would like to have greater capacity? One of the least expensive and simplest ways to do this is to connect multiple rain barrels in series. We are at an urban residence in Snohomish, Washington, where we connected two more barrels in an afternoon. These are the tools and parts you will need for this project. They will be explained later in the video, and you can also print them out from our website. So once you have your first rain barrel set up, it's really simple to add additional rain barrels to the system. Um, this just increases the volume that you have, so you'll have more water uh, to do more regular irrigation. Uh, and you can add as many barrels as you want. Today we're just going to add uh, two additional barrels. Uh, and these again are just the 55 gallon uh, rain barrel, or uh, food grade barrels. Uh, the homeowner has it's chosen to paint these. He's done a good, nice job on these. Uh, and they'll uh, just line up uh, next to his original rain barrel uh, near his house. So we're only going to drill uh, one additional hole in each of these new rain barrels. We have the existing uh, rain barrel with an inlet and an overflow, so we don't need to drill those holes for these new barrels. Uh, so for this, all we need is a standard drill and a 7 8 inch spade bit. You're also going to need some kind of saw to cut the pipe that will connect the three barrels. Finally, you will need the 3 quarter inch pipe tap that you used for the original rain barrel, and we're going to be tapping two more holes into the side of these barrels. I'm going to go through the parts that you'll need for these barrels. Uh, you're going to need a stick of 3 quarter inch PVC. You're going to need a T with the base threaded and both ends of the T slipped. Uh, and then you're going to need two elbows, uh, 90 degree elbows, threads on the male end and then slip on the female end so they fit over the pipe again like that. And then the last part you'll need is a Schedule 80 PVC nipple. Uh, that will connect to both the barrels. We're now ready for construction. Uh, so we're going to just take our barrels. We're going to drill one hole into the base of the barrel down here, about two inches above the bottom of the barrel. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing for both barrels. So a hole here and then a hole in the base of that one. Okay, we're going to drill a hole right in the side of our rain barrel. go. All right, now we're going to tap both of the barrels. Tap the second barrel. Screw the 90 degree elbow into one of the holes. There we go. Put the nipple into the base of the T and then screw the nipple into the side of the barrel. Now we're going to take our original rain barrel uh, we're going to drill a hole to connect to the other two rain barrels. Uh, you need to make sure that you have your o hose outlet going the direction that you want it to go, so plan for that. So we're going to drill a hole right here because we want our hose outlet to go in this direction. Now we're going to tap this last hole in the original rain barrel. Screw your second elbow into the original rain barrel. Here we have the original barrel and it's on a platform. We're going to need two additional platforms set up so that the barrels all sit at the same level. Uh, we have our rain barrel set up so that each of the uh, pieces is in the direction that we want it to point with the two elbows on the outside and the T in the middle. We're going to cut uh, a couple pieces of pipe, 
to connect all of these together. Uh, so we're going to measure this first piece, mark where we're going to cut. We're going to cut this PVC at the place marked. Make sure that the pipe fits in the location that you want it to. So connect the PVC pipe to your first elbow and then into one part of your T. And make sure that the rain barrels are even and centered on each of your platforms. Measure and mark your second piece of pipe. And then cut your second piece of pipe. Install your second pipe. Make sure everything fits together snugly. This is what your rain barrel system is going to look like when we glue everything together. Now that we have all, it all set up in the place that we want it, uh, we're going to take it all apart. We're going to glue all of our pipe pieces to the barrel using silicone and then we're going to glue the pipe to the pieces using PVC pipe glue. We're going to put a couple of drops of silicone on the 90 degree elbow and then screw that right back into our rain barrel. Probably going to want to seal the edges with some silicone too. Do the same with the silicone and put it on the T and screw that back into the middle barrel. Seal that with some silicone as well. Finally, put some silicone on your last elbow and screw that into your last barrel. Seal it with silicone. Use PVC pipe glue on each of your fittings to glue your pipe down. There you have a connected system. Uh, you can do as many barrels as you want. If you want to add more barrels, you just need an extra barrel and an extra T. And you can string those along as, as much as you want and, and make your system as big as you want. So connecting the hose at the bottom. The Snohomish Conservation District frequently holds build your own rain barrel workshops. Check out our other videos on how to build a rain barrel and rainwater cisterns in our region. For more information, visit betterground.org. Nicely done.